I started off 30 years ago primarily being known as a wildlife and landscape photographer. I'm still photographing nature. But certainly as an artist and a photographer, I will always have tried to push myself in all sorts of different directions. Probably 15 years ago, I started photographing cultures. And that really has been a ticket to remote areas around the world from which I photograph wildlife and landscapes, remote cultures, urban settings. I love all of it. You know, it's vitally important to me as an artist. My background's painting and art. So from the very early ages, I was framing and matting paintings. And now, of course, as a photographer, I'm doing the same. So I've built this beautiful gallery. It's built with the best lights that I could possibly afford in presentation. And it, that goes in hand in hand with presenting the work. Prints have always been important to me. I mean, from the very first time I started making living, in fact, I started off selling prints as many of my colleagues did. The way we look at prints has significantly changed. From the early days, it used to be very slick and glossy, and today there's a tactile presence to the prints. Using Epson uh, affords and gives us the ability to use different surfaces. Some are smoother, which speak to certain images that are maybe big, grandiose landscapes with a lot of color, and others are much more textured. And I find the images that are very monochromatic, the photos of mine that look more like a painting, are really appropriate for those textured papers because it looks like a painting. The velvet fine art paper is not only perfect for the black and white work we're doing right now, but I'm also, as I get older, abstracting a lot of the color work. You know, I love taking abstracts. In fact, part of my curriculum now is just devoted in seeing the abstract world. And so those beautiful, bright colors are really coming through on this paper as well. So for all the right reasons, this paper seems to have arrived at the right time. It's, it's colliding with my career in a beautiful way. This is an image I photographed in Koyasan, Japan. It's a stronghold for the Shinto religion. It's a beautiful area on a mountaintop. This is one of my favorite shots taken during that whole experience. And it's of a Shinto shrine with a snow-covered branch in the foreground. It's very designy, very graphic. And with the velvet fine art paper, it's just appropriate for it because it just captures the richness of the color. And the fact that there's no surface uh, reflection is perfect for it as well. This is an image from the new series on the abstraction of the human figure. All the experience I've had in uh, the out of doors with textures and clays. And why this Epson velvet fine art paper is so appropriate because there's a texture to it that, you know, it almost replicates the cracked clay nature of it. It's the perfect paper for this entire series. I think this photograph exemplifies why I love the Epson Velvet Fine Art Print. This photograph was photographed in 1986 along the shores of Lake Baikal in Siberia. And I've had it printed initially on glossy paper and it just looks awful. Now with this beautiful paper, when I print it, even colleagues of mine who should know better, they'll say, is that a serigraph? I say, straight print. But when it's on this surface, with this texture, it looks like a serigraph. It looks like a painting. You know, when we have an image, you go out, you take a picture, you bring it back, you, you kind of wind up with the image that you want to present that is actually a metaphor for the whole trip. It's printed well, it's printed on beautiful paper, and then it comes time to signing. And it's also, it's like signing off on that image. This is the best we could present. This is my signature. And when it's a limited edition print, it's all part of that presentation. There's a value ascribed. We live in a world where I'm out there using digital captures. You know, you don't have an old piece of film. There's nothing tangible about it. So by the time it's printed and presented and I'm signing it, this is a valuable, this is a tangible object we're holding here. And that's, that signature kind of seals it. It's like the stamp. This one's ready to go.